They reset their roster. Is, is there a chance they just continue to improve? Are they a team that continues to improve as they play together longer? <clears throat> Well, there's a chance because they're following the lead of a guy who's been there and done that before. He's been to seven straight NBA finals. He knows what the big moments are all about. And he has enough of a supporting cast that's experienced enough as well, at least to, to go up against uh, the Eastern Conference. Kyle Korver has been there before. Kevin Love has been there before. J.R. Smith has been there before. Tristan Thompson has been there before. And so when you look at it from that perspective, you simply follow his lead. And you also have to remember the path being traveled by Cleveland is relatively easy compared to what one might think. Indiana was a relatively young squad on a come up. We just saw a star in Victor Oladipo and their pesky and as a, and their pesky and as a result, they show up and they fight. The Toronto Raptors, LeBron James is their kryptonite. He affects them in a profoundly negative fashion, completely demoralizes them and strips their heart right out of their chest every time he goes up against them in the postseason. And so what you have left is a Philadelphia 76ers team with one playmaker who can't shoot from the perimeter in Ben Simmons and another bunch of parts that can shoot from perimeter but can't do much else in terms of creativity. And in the case of the Boston Celtics, you have a relatively young squad Squad without the services of Kyrie Irving. If you are LeBron James, it's a relatively easy path to the finals. Not to say that Boston would be easy. I think that could be a very thrilling series. But what we can't ignore is the fact that Boston doesn't have all its horses. Toronto was demoralized before, uh, since game one. And the Indiana Pacers were young and on a come up.